is September 19th, 2022, and in this screencast, I'd like to teach you how you can export your code from a laptop in the LEGO Spike Prime app, and you can put that into a Google Classroom assignment. So we're going to go into the Spike Prime software, and you're going to go ahead and create a, a project. Here's a little basic project. Um, and in order to save this, you're actually going to uh, go back to the Home button, uh, so that you can see your projects, but make sure that you name it something that will help you find it later. So you can click the three dots here, rename project, and in this case I'm just going to call this laptop test project, but you can give it uh, whatever name you want, but that way it's, it's named so you'll be able to recognize it. Now I click on the home button, and I'm going to go down here to my projects. And so um, you're going to click on these three dots, and you can choose to move the project to the location that you'd like, in this case, the desktop. Um, and that way you're going to be able to find it easily. So you can go ahead and select it, choose the desktop, and then when you go ahead and click open, it's going to move that project to your desktop. Now to see it, we can click on the finder here on our laptop, and when I go to my desktop, look at that. There is my project file, the laptop project, right here. Okay, and that's there on my desktop. If you you know wanted to save it somewhere else, you could in documents or downloads. Just make sure you know where it is so that you can turn it in in Google Classroom. All right. Now, there's another way to do this, and when you're in your project, you can also go up to File and you can choose Save As. So File, Save As and then you'll select where you want it to go. If you don't see all these choices like this, click the little arrow here beside the location, and then you'll go ahead and select the location where you want it to go. And you could go ahead and put it in the, on, again, on the desktop is easy. I'll give it a new name, save it, and now it's saved here to my desktop. There's my first one, here's my second one. All right, so now I'm ready to turn this in in Google Classroom, and I can either select Chrome or I can hold down the Command key and press Tab, and that'll let me switch between my programs here, and so I can switch over to Google Chrome. Remember also that you can use Spotlight Search on the Mac, so Command Space brings up my Spotlight Search, and so I could start to type something like Chrome, and then I could go ahead and select it to choose it. Okay, but here I am, and I can choose my assignment. So here's my new assignment, practice turn-ins. Um, I'm going to get coached by Google on what to do here. I just need to add or create, but I'm going to choose file in this case, and then I have to browse to the location where I have saved it. Okay, so it's not in Google Drive yet, so it's not under recent or in my drive. I'm going to need to go to upload and browse. So I'm going to browse to the location, in this case, I'm going to select Desktop, and now I can select the file that I want. Select the location I want, the file that I want, and I can go ahead and click Open. Okay, and it's going to upload that file. And if that's all I need to do, I can go ahead and click Turn In. Um, I've actually got another file to turn in to this assignment, so I'm not going to click Turn In yet. Uh, but if you have an image or a video that you need, you can add or create that, probably again as a file. And then when you're done, you'll go ahead and turn in the assignment. I hope that's helpful to you. If you have uh, more questions, we've got more how-to um, recordings like this on our class website, which you can find for robotics at lessons.westfriar.com.